Because we are reviewing, it's out of respect, Phil. We are reviewing <laughs> respect, respect uh, pure respect. Mm -hmm. We're reviewing the best guitar that's ever been built in the history of rock. <coughs> ever. <coughs> the most amazing, incredibly crafted, beautifully built, with stunning hardware, aesthetics. It's just mind blowing. It's incredible. And it is the music man, early ball music man. That's very dirty. That's not very dirty. That fretboard is filthy. Yeah, from rocking. <laughs> from rocking. That's how much I play this bleeding thing. That's how much I play this. Charles is respect and clean it. I do clean it. I just, they have to get this kind of scrapey knife thing going on. Right. It's just, it is my sweat. Yeah, it is. But I mean, look, I've had this guitar about six years now and it yeah. is absolutely mind blowing. It's incredible. Everyone should get one. Get one. Go get one. Get two. But uh, no, we're, we're talking about this today because it's my favorite guitar ever. Why is it my favorite guitar? You've played it. You, you can feel the brilliance in it. I, I, you, you know. It just suits you. I mean, every, everyone has a different. Okay, style. Everyone, yeah, everyone has, yeah. I'm, You're right. It, it suits you. It does. And and you know, I mean, when you bought the guitar, you weren't sure. You just sort of. Oh like, yeah, I mean, I was. Yeah, when, yeah, when you bought yeah, it, yeah. and you just. What well, the quality? The it. quality was just. It's the quality of the build. Every nut and bolt and thing and molecule is done to perfection. I, I, I can't explain it. <laughs> well, let, let me try. Look, look, let, let's, let's just look at this beauty. Look at that noisy lead. Well, look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a nice maple that lip on that, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and look at the look, <coughs> look Roasted at maple. Look at that. Yeah, I don't think it was roasted at the time. I think the roll you know that really roasted thing that I have on the axis? So, so that was actually a recent thing. This is just So that's just from dirt. Just <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just gorgeous bird's eye maple. Look. Look at that. Look it's at that. roasted to a certain degree. Is it roasted? I mean, yeah, dark. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean the thing is maple is a is a white wood, very yeah. very you know They didn't have to do that, Phil. They could have just Plonked out another fender, like you know that fendery neck. It's just maple neck, but they it's just because they're not Gibson, you know. They went the extra mile, <laughs> Phil. They yeah. went the extra mile. That's what they did. It's just, I mean, what a guitar. It's, I mean, everything from the the knobs. Right? It's built like a tank. It's like a tiger tank of guitars. Right. So explain. There's a lot going on with this guitar. Like you've got a three-way switch there. I don't here. have a degree in engineering. And you have a three-way switch try. there. You have a five-way switch there. So between three, five, and three. We have to talk about this. That's already eleven positions. I know. We have to talk about it. Let's break it down. First of all, there's the aesthetics of the guitar. We'll talk about aesthetics first, and then we'll go into into the kind of pickle stuff. Basically, this black thing here, which is in the middle of the blue thing, as it were. <laughs> I know. I'm getting very technical. I'm getting very technical. Very technical. You're losing well, me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting lost. I know. I know. <laughs> Bear with me, Phil. I'll try. I never liked it. I always thought, I don't know, I just, if I could get a normal Fender scratch plate on this, I would. But it's actually like it's a, um, uh, Stingray, or not a Stingray, um, a Silhouette. You no, see no. some Telecasters for some reason. Yeah, we'll like have that, that kind of thing, well, yeah. yeah. I was never a fan. No, and fun. we will go to the Mark II in a minute. This is the Mark I, by the way. We have to talk about this guitar. It's the Steve Morse Mark I, um, Steve Morse model. You know, and there's a Mark II as well. From Music Man. From Ernie Ball Music Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it, that's it. <laughs> but um, the thing is, some people call this ugly. Some people have called this ugly. I wouldn't. I just call it different. It's different. It's not ugly. It's just different. So that's what. Yeah. It's, 
Euphemism you 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 for ugly. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it, look, it is what it is. But I'm not a huge fan of the scratch plate. I'll, I will go that far. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the scratch plate. Yeah. But the blue, the blue is so bluey blue. Look at that blue. It's like ocean blue. Oh, it's ocean. It's like dipping in, into the Pacific. Isn't, <laughs> isn't it gorgeous? It's just so gorgeous. It's a deep, not quite turquoisey, but kind of a what's, what kind of blue is that? I don't know, Dan. I'm colorblind. Steve Morton. Sorry. <laughs> He's still around. Sorry, I asked the wrong person. Sorry. Anyway, it's gorgeous blue. You probably see it's. You probably think it's purple, do you? It's like a deep blue. Yeah, deep blue. Good, good. Like deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah deep. Just blue. like deep the bandies. Blue. Deep purple. Very good. Very good. <laughs> deep, deep blue, and then later on we'll have deep purple. We'll have so deep anyway, purple. um, yeah. So it has the two knobs, volume, tone. That's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. But what isn't simple is the pickup selection system. Which even Music Man I hear balked at when, he, when Steve Morse said, I want this kind of guitar, and they're like, oh Jesus Christ, okay, will we sell this thing? But they did. But there's a caveat. They give you a diagram. And it's... A very... Yeah, it's pretty technical. So if I looked at that diagram, would I understand it? You would. It's, it's actually quite simple. I mean, just for example, for example, what's the most two-use pickups on a guitar? Well, for me, it'd be this one and this one. Yes. So but there's four pickups on that guitar. There is, but your your basic setup and that turns everything off. Up is off. That I don't know. I'm not sure. It would. <laughs> but I know the sound isn't as good when it's down, so okay. I, I keep it down there. Don't ask. But basically, if you want this sound, mm -hmm. we have to go all the way to the back. By the way, Classic great ball. pickups, great pickups. These are the Demarzio, and I believe they're actually Steve Morse Demarzio pickups. Right. Yeah, because they actually have the Steve Morse logo on the, oh, the right, market. They too. are incredible. It's just so crunchy. <laughs> Not that gamey, but very crunchy. Mm. And that's the classic rock sound. Yes. Now, you're going to say, okay, you want the neck pickup and you just do that. No. No, Phil. <laughs> it's not that simple. It's not that simple. They didn't make it that simple. You actually have to... <laughs> Hang on. What were you thinking, Steve? Hold on. <laughs> Hang on. Pick up. We want pick up four. So let's go in the middle. Which is weird if you play it's, Fenders. It should be. You can only put it there for like Nile Rodgers kind of stuff. So it's in the middle. And then we turn this on up. At, uh, add pick up one to what is selected on lever, so that goes off like that, and now we have it. <laughs> so much. You nice wouldn't want to do that live, yeah. would you? Oh, yeah. Hang on, audience. Yeah. yeah. So now we have your classic. You yep. had to do all that, I just have to go like that. True. That is true. And it is an issue. But then again, I suppose Steve Morris is used to incredible it. guitar, so he does his country pick and twicking, wick and wick and stuff and amazing and he's rock and then he's purple and he's you know, he's an incredible player. So he probably obviously has reason for these. Dixie Dregs. Dixie Dregs. I actually had a Dixie Dregs album in nineteen eighty four. I liked it, but I could never really get into it. It was very instrumentally. Yeah. And it was real chickeny pickany. Dilly, dilly kind That's of. That's why some of the technical yeah. stuff just doesn't work. You no, know, it's, it's nice. Just, Don't get me wrong. I love yeah, it. It's I love it. It's just you know people want to tune. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. For example, yesterday I missed Mr. Albert Lee was playing in Dublin, but for some crazy reason he decided to play in the south side of Dublin, and I live in the north side, so I couldn't get there. But yeah. well, I could get there, but I couldn't get home. So. Um, Basically, he's another player that's incredible. Mm. But um, you know the song "I'm Just a Country Boy." I wouldn't know this. Uh, yeah, it's songs by name. It's probably one of the most famous songs. I'm just a country boy. Right. But it goes around, around and around. around and around. Listen, he's incredible. But it's just it's an acquired taste. Yeah, I could, chicken picking is yeah. It's amazing, but it's just like I couldn't listen to it forever. Like no, it's just no. like it goes on and on. Like, but what a player! But we have to say the Albert Lee guitar. We weren't fans of. It is a ugly guitar. It's relatively it's ugly. It's not one you would say it's the... Um, I will never buy one. They're, they're for sale. I could get one tomorrow. I will never buy one because it's they're almost such like a, a weird a kiss thing. guitar, you know? I mean, yeah, it's, got it's a point yeah, up yeah, You almost yeah. see kiss using it, you know? Whereas this is the classic Strat. 
beautiful super strat like the good old super strats you know this was coming along in the, in the well the, obviously um was it was it 80 86 85 or something he, he designed this i think was 87, it? something like that around 87 i think he came out with this and then the mark ii came out in 99 right so you had the the y2k yeah, the y2k as it works. Works. or y2d remember the y2k was the actual yeah. um problem with the computers and all yeah, that yeah. but he called it y2d, y2D. So like a kind of take on it mm -hmm. but um yeah this this both these guitars absolutely fantastic we have a little look at this one now and um what can i say the, the sound the build the play the feel the finish the the knobs the Tuners, <laughs> everything. It's just it's uh, it, pickups, crunchy. the silvery bits, the blacky bits, the bluey bits. <sighs> yeah, you know, and the brownie bits. The only thing about this is that it doesn't come in many different finishes. Uh, you can obviously, oh, if you have a lot of money, you can get any color you want. But I'd love this with gold hardware, with that blue, it's with maybe a blue and, scratch plate. It's just the blue and the black. They do that modeling, is it? Well, no, I've seen, I've seen it in black and black. And I've seen it in. Uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. You know, like you've got blue paint and you've got a black paint. Yeah. Paint, so that's the, the only, only two, two I've seen. Know, but yeah. in, in America, obviously, people with a, a lot of cash, which I have seen, custom finishes. Right. And they're insane. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, God knows how much they cost, but they're, I'm sure they're quite expensive. But um, us poor European folk have to make do with the, <laughs> what we get here. Yes. And this is what we get. But it's, it's fantastic. It's my favourite guitar of all time ever. I'll never sell it. And I'll actually probably get buried with it. So. And how much did you pay for that guitar then? Here's the funny story. We have a yes. great story here. Yes. This is a great story. I had a Les Paul. Mm. And I, I actually paid, I didn't pay a penny for it, Phil. Not one penny. Because what happened was, this guy from Donegal, which is miles away, up north in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, about 300 miles away. 300 miles away, yeah. So anyway, he um, made me an offer because I uh, was, he was open to swaps in the adverts kind of section. And I said, would you swap it for a, a Les Paul, standard Les Paul? And he said, absolutely. Took it off me. And I met him at the train station in Dublin. I took this, he took the Les Paul, which was your standard 15, 1600 nice euro Les Paul. Red, yeah, red wine, yeah, Les yeah, Paul beautiful, kind of yeah, very, very tasty, very tasty guitar. Yes. Was a good player, I have to say. And I took this and I loved it. I fell in love, actually, I actually proposed to it at the station. <laughs> With a little ring. No, no, I did. I fell in love with it. I took it home, loved it. And about eight months later, I got an email from the guy. Yeah. <laughs> the email, I wish I had it here. It's hilarious. It's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's so poignant. He said, please, will you give me back my Morse? It's the best guitar I've ever owned. Please give it back to me. And I will give you back your last call. And I was like, no. That's true. That happened. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's it's funny how people don't realise what they have until it's gone. Yeah, I mean... Just like that Cinderella song. Just, what a great song. What a great song. Tom Kiefer, amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. Amazing player. And he plays that spot. He does, yeah. I don't think he plays music, man. He plays an original 59 in first ball. Wow, that's pretty special. But anyway, to cut a long story short, he wanted, he wanted this guitar back. And, you know, he asked me, would I consider swapping it back? And I said, no, I wouldn't. Because I absolutely love it. And he, he regretted it. He's like, it was the best guitar he ever owned. And I feel the exact same way. It's like a love affair. It's not a guitar. It's, it's, like, it's like a marriage. <laughs> Every day, when Phil comes in to see me, I'm polishing. Polishing away. Always polishing. Always with the polishing. There's lots of polishing going on. That's great. Let's move on to the Sorry, next yeah. guitar. <laughs> but basically, the reason I got dressed up as a Jehovah's Witness today was in honor of this guitar, to show it some respect. <laughs> and you'll never see me in a shirt and tie again unless I'm in court. Could happen. <laughs> it could happen. Right, here we go. Um, next one. Next one, yeah. Can you hold this for me, Phil? Hold that. Oh, hold Just that like that, thank you. And we're going to look at Mark II. Ooh. Aha, you Did see? You that? That's what happens. Wow. When you put it in your ear. <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> now, sorry, here we go. Woo! This is Mark II. And it's in a deep purple because Steve Morse is in deep purple. Yes, and it's a much nicer finish. It is much. And why is it a much nicer finish, Phil? 
because you can't see that horrible you scratch You can't plate. see the horrible they scratch plate. They should have omitted that scratch plate. I know, plate. they totally. should have had a clear plastic scratch plate yeah, for the blue I one. mean, they could have, you know, you can do, um, mm -hmm. put the pickups in with the yeah. little it's so much better. side without the pick guard. I, I think what happened was, and also, pick guard. also it's just that, uh, uh, it's a five way. Yeah. This is the way it should have been. Excuse me. <coughs> Plus you got this way it should have been. Yeah. And one very close. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Close. It is very strange. Which I never really use, you know. I might use it for just a little bit of them. Oh! A little kind of, you know, kind of. Oh. That kind of. You know, but very yeah. ra rarely would I use it. And can it. you split the um, split the coils in the um, bridge pickup? No, 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 no. no, no. So it's just always a humbucker. Unless suddenly you discover you can't. No. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I've just well, years, not six years. <laughs> yeah, you can. But uh, no, this is just. <laughs> Very yeah, here. and that one's crunchy, that one's bulky. Yeah, and it has the Steve Morse. I presume you know these are the Steve Morse DiMarzio pickups because they yeah. have his name on it. You know, it's just probably updated. You know, I mean, so yeah. many years between the two guitars. And the I guess it's just they're just heavier, you know, rockier pickups. Yeah. But you just get a great. <laughs> And we have to talk about the finish on this as well. It's that kind of um, bursty. bursty finish with a lovely stripey, going on, stripey stuff going on. These are not the original knobs. Right. The what guy I bought the, this off had changed the knobs from the lovely steel ones I, I like that is kind of Gibson y ones. But you know what? They're great for the kind of violin. So it was stuff. like the other guitar, was it? That was steel. Oh, no, they had steel knobs. We had that lovely. <laughs> Yeah, I just noticed that. But there you go. I don't violin too much, but and then you have of course you have your, like yeah. So you have your classic Floyd Rose, which is not an actual real Floyd Rose. It's, uh, it's a music, a music manifold, which is just as good, if not better. Always the best of gear. Everything they do is 100%, mm. you know? So that's the, um, pity it's not a sunny day today. You can't really see the, on a sunny day, this thing just yeah. glows. We haven't had a summer this year, have we? We haven't had a summer this year. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been pretty it's hard. Been dismal, yeah, it's been dismal, actually. Very dismal. Unfortunately. So, um, yeah, that just, there's the headstock, the music man headstock. It's, it's a lovely kind of um, tidy little headstock, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a very it's, you wouldn't bump it off a off a wall type headstock. Head yeah, it's very it? small headstock, and um, yeah, so that's um, that's the music man Steve Morse, the best guitar ever built in the history of rock, <laughs> and you know this will probably be our, our highest uh, ranking video because so many people watch just to see the beauty of the Steve Morse. Feeling a bit sick again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. I know, you know. Yeah, man, uh, Phil is not a fan. <laughs> Phil's not a fan of, of uh, Music Man, are you? They just make very quirky guitars, you know, it's just the, the quality is real. insane. They wouldn't oh, survive if the quality wasn't a thousand no, percent. No, I, I agree. I mean, they are lovely, well-built guitars. Built, yeah. It's just something to do with their shapes. Just none of them interest me. They're original. It's you original know? shapes. You Can know? you say that about the St. Vincent? Oh. <laughs> The same Vincent and the Albert original, Lee. But, uh... I'm sorry. I'm, music Man dropped the ball there. You know, yeah. Some people probably love them, but... I mean, come on! This the aesthetic appeal is just, and the Saint Vincent, Vincent especially, just horrific. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I know you know. I, I would never say anything bad about Vincent, but I'd never buy a Saint Vincent. It's modeling a guitar based on, from a, a, dress. on a dress. That's yeah. just. I think it looks like a dress. I, I believe it's a dress, and it was designed by a woman. Yeah, flying V's worked. Flying V's worked. You know, yeah. explorers. Yeah. Worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but. Uh, Flying dresses just don't work. <laughs> flying dresses don't do it for me, Phil. They never no. will. I'll never wear a flying dress. No. 
So anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's uh, that's it. That is the Steve Morse. Oh, we have to show this. S M. Steve Morse. Yes. Y two D. That's the Y two D there. Right. In gold. Y two D. Yes. And this is the Mark two of that one, which is the Mark one. And is there any other models of the Steve Morse? There's different color. I have seen this beautiful. Uh, guitar in a, in a tobacco brown burst. Right. Which is stunning. Right. Jimmy actually had one. I never got it. I, I, I just bought this. Like, oh, I can't get to it. So it, it, it's one of those. The one that got away. Yeah. So yeah, that is the that is the other uh, version I've seen of it. Yeah. But also, I've also seen it in green and crazy colors because again, custom shop of course it costs a lot of money. So uh, no, but it comes in the purple. Mm -hmm. It comes in the blue. It comes in the blue as well. Yeah. And it comes in the tobacco burst. Fantastic. Stunning. And I, someday I'll have all three. Well done, music man. Oh yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's us. That's that's it. That's the uh, Most, Steve Morse Music Men guitars, aka the best guitar ever built in the history of music, according to Dan and Steve Morse. <laughs> and the Joe. <Jehovah's laughs> <Witness. laughs> and the Joe. <Jehovah's laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> We're only messing. We, we love it, Jehovah. Yeah, some came to the door actually a few, few weeks That's ago, right. and, okay. and I talked to them for ages. It was lovely. Very nice chat. Great. Yeah. Right. There you go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you very much. Bye. Catch you later.